<laughs> that was not the intro, yeah, didn't I? Actually, this is the best intro. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to this special video with our very special guest. Uh, uh, can you introduce yourself uh, for the people joining the video right now? All right, all right. I'm uh, Crystal Schizel, better known as that guy who's very annoying in arena. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> 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 that's true. Damn, so the guy who got a uh, legend, so rank one in arena, like a hundred times, like uh, this is crazy, crazy. Yeah, it was pure luck. Pure yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> 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 it just lucked your way through the rankings every week. Damn. Uh, why the focus in Arena, by the way? Is it like your favorite content um, or something? I think it's a combination of things, you know? Like, back in the day, Arena was really the holy grail. Mm -hmm. And that's when I, st when I started playing Arena a lot. And I always enjoyed doing like Siege or doing things next to that, but... I always felt like arena was the most fun part uh, and it also doesn't take that much time like farming i can do that while i'm doing other stuff but arena you just need to spend one hour on sunday yeah true and, and a bit of preparations maybe before that but uh, to climb up but uh yeah it takes an hour there and then for example with rta you need to spend hours a day to really compete in the top rankings uh -huh. and yeah, i just don't have that time for it so uh Oh, by That's the way, why I really focus on arena. I just thought um, this is my only question that comes out uh, really often. Like, why do we call the last hour of arena rush hour? Do you know? Because I think it's just something that we decided something somehow. Rush hour. I think somebody just named it like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's why. Yeah. And people. Keep... A, I've already seen rush hour since the beginning since I started playing. Yeah, I think as well. Maybe there was YDCV or something. Uh, someone as. The arena um, tiling points stops at 10 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, people just compete uh, super hard the last hour uh, and fight everyone they can uh, hit the defenses so they can be higher in the rankings. And this is why we call it a rush. Uh, I think nowadays, I think arena is really active. Mm -hmm. So I, I, if I start later than 9.15, then I'm probably already a bit too late. Yeah, OK. Uh, um, if yeah, normally, normally I start around like 9, 10, 9, 15. And uh, sometimes when I'm really low in rankings, I will start a bit earlier. Uh, sometimes I'm slacking or I've got to change my defense on Friday and then uh, I need to climb up again. Yeah, I see. Um, so that's, yeah. And then I usually start around 9 to 9, 15. But there was a time where Arena was a bit less active and then I could just start like 9, 30, 9, 40 ish. It's also a lot of people are streaming and uh, everybody is just focusing on getting that high ranking. And By the way, why are you not uh, streaming? Uh, I actually did stream it twice. Mm -hmm. How did it <laughs> go? I, I noticed that after I streamed it, next week people were changing their defenses to counter my offenses. Okay. And I, and I struggled more. Uh, and especially at that time, I didn't really have that much uh, special net five monsters yet. So it was more easy to counter. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I think like, for example, it's maybe it's a bit easier for you because you are like one of the few people who can only use that comp with the, with the Dark Chasun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and so people don't really care to counter it because you, there's so few people using it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think at that now it's a bit more special, I guess. But I think at that time uh, I was using like very similar comps and people were countering it. And then the next week I was struggling with that. And then I actually had um, another player in my guild who had the same. So yeah, at that time I pretty much stopped streaming it. And I also really noticed that during the stream I got really distracted. Oh yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, <laughs> that's true. So so and then afterwards I I got distracted and then in the end I lost by two points and I was like ah shit if I. <laughs> Yeah, that's for sure something that if I can I make. If I just focused, I would have done like maybe three or four hits more and then uh, I could have made it. So uh, that's a combination of those two things actually decided uh, for me to stop streaming it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I actually promised to make a video about my rush right now cool. and when I get 100. But uh, yeah, the last time I was working in my garden, I came back and I couldn't didn't have time to set it up. So the next legend I'll get, I'll make sure to uh, to record it and put it on YouTube. Nice. We can finally learn from your offenses because how many offenses do you use uh, like on on your deck? Is it like do you have enough decks? Uh, uh, arena offenses? 
Now, yes, yes. I think the meta really shifted, so I, I really use the same teams quite often. Okay. Uh, um, so I I think it's like five, six teams I use quite a lot, and maybe some variations. You know, I only switch one monster out. Okay. But so... I always have to, I always have them in my recent uh, list, so I can just shift them really quickly. Oh yeah, I see. Mm. Uh, but there was a time that I really I, I didn't have enough with ten decks. I, actually, maybe surprisingly, but the team that I use the most right now is uh, Pisama, Tiana, Kelly, and Cyrus. Oh, really? Because hey. it counters so many teams. Okay, uh, I don't use that much as well. But because the thing is, if like a lot of people, they either play a speedcom and mm -hmm. then they they only add like one unit, which is scary. Mm -hmm. uh, and if that's not, not enough to either target your Cyrus or your Pisama, you can always just hit it because Tiana will just cleanse it, and you can you can even take turn two. Okay. Uh, and I have a fast Tiana anyway, so there's still like quite some tritons and stuff I can still at speed. Oh wow, okay. That, that's, the, that's the tricky part <laughs> because I thought, but how are you hitting those fast comps with the Tiana, which has like a super low base speed? Just because you outrun them, right? Uh, on the speed contest. Yeah, because but you see most people, they are using their fastest runes on their offense. Mm -hmm. And then their second set on their, on their defense. And then that's usually not fast enough. Or... Uh, yeah, you see like a lot of comms, like twins comms, you can just Cyrus them. So actually, right now I use that comp a lot. Okay. And, and actually one team that I barely see uh, is uh, is Poseidon. Oh, okay, which um, comp? Poseidon, Poseidon, Tiana, Galleon, Cyrus. Okay. It's, re it's really strong because a lot of people now are shifting to, well, shift lately to uh, Molly defenses and they're very tanky, like uh, Singer, the Wind Monkey with Molly plus two, like Juno or something, and Figure next to it, uh, or some LD unit next to it. And then, uh, yeah, you can pretty easy just Poseidon on them because Poseidon can glance. Mm -hmm. So Molly doesn't do that much. Yeah, I see. You just talked about uh, Zingze, and I see like um, something that is super obvious for me, but uh, can you <laughs> can you explain the Mayu Hong's thing? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this, is the, this is the real secret. No, 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 I, <laughs> I, like back in the day before you could feed the net vice, I summoned like eight fire monkeys already. Okay. And uh, I built them all to six star and I used them as, uh, as rune storage. And uh, at one moment it just became a meme. Like every week there was somebody on Reddit posting it. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> look, he has eight fire monkeys. And uh, <laughs> it, was, it just became a meme. So after that, I uh, just stick with it. And I, actually, you summoned me a fire monkey. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, I remember and, that. And I, and I fed it, and I still regret it to this day. Oh no! <laughs> because you could have been maybe using nine in, in your storage. I, I actually really wanted to do uh, ten fire monkeys and ten siege battles. Oh, that would be nice. I mean, you're so using one fire monkey and every battle. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> but cool. Uh, yeah, I still need to summon two now. Damn. But, so that's a bit the, the meme behind the monkeys. I see. I see. I got off topic, but uh, I, I had to talk about it. <laughs> I just think about that and that um like during uh, those times crazy times we have the seven uh, seven anniversary scroll like for people who want to focus into arena which uh, list would you recommend them to put Tiana for sure right in that five if we start uh, Tiana Bustet yeah um, uh, like in the current meta for sure Pisama because he's useful in attack and defense yeah. Um, I mean, just not attack, because good... in defense it's more Vanessa, right? In defense. It uh, depends the team, of course. Okay. If you're really... I, I think if you're a Triton is super fast, mm -hmm. then, uh, then actually Pisama is a better option. Okay. Um, yeah, what else? Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of Zyros. Not everybody is. Uh, oh, do you use Bastet offenses these days? Yeah, quite a lot. With uh, Jamaya, I guess? Or what with? Uh, Jemire, Bastet Devolution, or uh, uh, Alicia, Bastet MS Delusion. Oh, yeah. You can thank your teams to um, pretty much just one shot those. Mm. So, um, but um, yeah. why Alicia? Oh, yeah, Alicia, because um, the lead and the double AoEs. I thought yeah. about Reiki, but um, Alicia is better than. I don't have Raki, so. Oh, I okay. I, I would also build a Rocky if I had one, but just uh, because Alicia is really nice if the, like, the team is for fire heavy. Mm -hmm. True. Uh, and I have two Alicia, so I could build one that I want to use for a normal team and one on triple fight for that solution team. Mm -hmm. 
And then uh, I would build a Rocky if I had one for specific situations as well. Would you say Sierra? Because some, some defense can be bombed. Uh, do you bomb uh, defenses? I, I don't bomb at all. Okay. Because RNG? I just noticed that the, the RNG is always there. Yeah, true. And, and it feels like, for example, if you use Cyrus, and especially Despair Cyrus, you still, even you miss death breaks, you still have a chance to stun, reset. Uh, uh, you can do a lot more. And when bombs miss, you there's nothing. Okay, interesting. I, uh... And uh, I used to bomb a lot. Like back in the day, I used Sierra, Tiana, uh, Libli a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, with Galleon mostly. Uh, but. At one moment, I just started losing too many matches. I noticed that the win rate really went down because I was using bombs. <laughs> and I, I really started to shift to other teams because uh, yeah, there's there's always RNG there. It's never a guaranteed win. And that's why I really like Lucian in my teams, because if Lucian works, it always works. Yeah, true. Which way, Lucian is the best. You know? <laughs> we'll get yeah. to talk about it in the <laughs> four star unit because uh, I'm still making the five star list. Uh, maybe something for defense. What is like super strong? But I think in general, like if you do, like for me personally, I don't really like bombs, but if you don't have the other monsters and this is your option, mm -hmm. it's, it's still a solid option, but it's just like where maybe Cyrus wins 99.8% of your matches, your bombs will win 97, 98% mm -hmm. uh, if you have the right setup. So uh, I really think that small difference, it matters if you push for legend, but if you if the difference, if you push for C2 to C3, that difference is way, uh, way less important. So I think in general, Sierra is a nice unit because it's not only in Arena, it's also yeah. in, in, in Guild Wars, in, uh, in Siege, and in, in RTA, it's a really strong unit. We're talking about offenses a lot, but um, it's clear that for Arena, the defense matters a lot too. Some people say it's like half-half. Yeah, but uh, in general, I, like, a lot of people generally, they ask me as well advice, but they only, they only focus on building a strong defense. And then they think like, okay, if I can build a strong defense, I can also work on my offense. But then very often you see that they don't have the runes or the setups ready for their offense. So they run slow clears. And oh. then they're fully depending on their defenses. Oh, yeah, true. So I think it, it's always a combination of, if you have a very strong offense and you have a uh, like okay defense, uh, of course, you're going to get more hits, but you can also do more hits. Mm. And especially if you can hit the people who are high in the rankings, you can steal a lot of points from them. Yeah, uh, true. So it, I, I always think it's a very combination of both. Uh, don't only focus on the one. Especially hey. if, you, if you don't have the units for the defense, focus on your offense. Because when you do get those units for your defense, you can climb up very quickly. Yeah, true. So what is, like, to finish the night fives? Um... We have six now, right? Yeah, we have six, yeah. So the, the last should be something for defense a bit, you know? Mm. Uh, it's non-LD, so maybe then I would still go with Triton. Oh, yeah, Triton. Oh, I didn't take any other strippers. Do you think Triton or Shiwu? Yeah, Triton for defense, yeah. Yeah, for defense, Triton, mm. definitely. Mm. Shiwu is nice for offense, but it's kind of still a bit niche, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. I was thinking about Savannah a bit uh, for defense, because uh, well, maybe she's not that good anymore uh, in the meta. I like Savannah, but uh, yeah, you know, like a lot of people are still slow clearing, mm -hmm. and almost every slow clear is with Leo. Yeah, true. So yeah. Uh, mm. So then Savannah doesn't do that much, um, but it's, she's definitely a strong unit for sure. But I think in general, like if you look at the meta, uh, Triton is more key than Savannah. Because Savannah you can replace by Rika, Bellinus, yeah, some true. other unit. Any... And Triton, mm -hmm. you don't really have a replacement for it. Yeah, cool. I think that's a nice start. For the four stars, okay, uh, we can start with Lucian. <laughs> <laughs> Lucian, for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, Galleon. Yeah, Galleon too. Uh, Lucian, Galleon. I mean, I don't use that many four stars. Uh, uh, Julie, maybe? Do, are people using Julie these days in Arena? I actually never use truly. Yeah, same. That's why I'm asking. Uh, where can I see Galleon? Then Malaka, if we talked about bombers, uh, is still something that we can yeah. use for sure. Malaka's a nice one. Yeah. Twins is... Uh, people. All people are using twins these days in offense. Mm. It works. Yeah, it works. It works. I think so. I think it's uh, like Shino. I mean, I think there's a limit to it. Like higher G3, it's probably more hard to twins people than 
Yeah. Like maybe in lane G1 or C3. Like the okay. fire, one, fire ones, I guess. I mean, like any combo of twins with Shina, I guess. Uh, yeah. If you have Martina, it's cool too. Uh, uh, and wind, immensity, right? Because you use immensity. Yeah, immensity for sure, yeah. Because I really uh, like it. So you have how many Lucian's ruined for an um, arena? Uh, right now, um, four. Okay. So. So I have a fat Lucian, two speed Lucians, one on wheel and one on uh, on plate. And I have another uh, fast Lucian, low damage to counter Nemesis. Okay, pretty cool. I should build like um, a 70 crit rate uh, slow Lucian. I think it's really good with the MST as well. Yeah. Maybe uh, Triana, for the, maybe something for defense. Is Skogul? Oh yeah, Skogul, yeah, Skogul is nice, yeah. Because it's a really safe offense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. When I was looking at the um, Skogul in the um, in the list, um it belongs to the safe um comps, like Bruce yeah. comps. Which uh teams do you know people use? Because I've never used any of those comps, so I'm really not experienced in the topic. A lot of people use Leo, double Skogul, Tetra. Yeah. And because it's, and then they build their Skogels on zero speed, just high HP. And uh, and yeah, just the Skogels do their work, right? They both do drop their bombs and yeah. Uh, do you know any other teams except Skogels? Uh, do you know stuff that people Slow use? Clear? Yeah, Slow clear, yeah. Yeah, but that's more net five. Like people, they if they know like there's it's a fire heavy team, they use teams like uh, higher resistance, Anvil, Verat plus two. Okay. Interesting. Uh, it works, it's not super fast, it's not super slow either, so mm -hmm. it's, it's okay. And for the rest, I don't really know. But the only downside there is that you need a Leo. So you Aye. need a net 5 and that comp. Oh, yeah, true. Because the Leo reduces the speed and that gives you uh, mm. gives you the safety in the team. Otherwise, control, like you said, the um, Anavel Virad, and you concede the first turn, and on second turn, you do your combo kind of. Yeah, and one unit that I use for a long time is the the Dark Sniper, the, that cleanses and brings attack buff. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah, uh, yeah. No, not Sniper, you mean the Dark. Uh, um, bounty Hunter. Uh, yeah, Bounty Hunter, yeah, yeah. So that one, uh, that one can also work. I used him for a very long time against specific teams. Uh, so uh, max resistance, I guess? Uh, yeah, full resi on wheel, like sweet wheel or something. Okay. And you can use him. You can use him with uh, maybe an uh, arrest unit or or something that that's that helps, like with double Lucian uh, with a dark bounty hunter plus one. Okay. And the plus one can be anything. It depends on the defense, of course. Then thank you very much, Chris, for your time. Uh, that was very insightful, I guess, for the chat. Uh, people follow him on his uh, channels and uh, social media, so you can know when he finally releases this video. Uh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me here. And uh, yeah, just if you have questions, shoot them in the chat and uh, or shoot them in the chat in the comments. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I'll try to respond to them. Cool. Bye bye, people. And subscribe. Yeah.